what is the status of all lights let's check using our ai and it can interact with our home automation using esp8266 and it is correct led number one is on which is at the right side and led number two is off perfect let's use our voice can you turn on the light number two and here we go so both the lights are on now we are using our ai to interact with our home automation ai is not limited to chatbot only ai can do stuffs for you our old method was using the ui which we directly get from our microcontroller and if we click on turn off i can turn off anyone now both lights are turned off let's check the status Can you check the status again? Oh, smart answer. The LEDs are back to their original state. Let's use text. So something like that. Turn on light number two. Hit enter. Let's see if it turns on this one. And perfect. So let's start setting up all the things from scratch. And let's start with the code first, which is available at GitHub. So this is our GitHub repository and obviously the link will be in the description and it has a nice diagram flowchart how it works like and how you could set up your electronics and optionally you can click on this DIY video which I've already done on my DIY channel. Now we are adding the AI part on top of that basically. So let's directly start with our coding and I have already cloned this repository in our local machine. What I'll do, I'll open my code editor. It can be anything. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And now let's do a couple of things. The directory structure looks like something like this. The AI is written in this folder. Then we have the ESP8266 and it is containing the microcontroller code. We'll see one by one as we have this documentation. So setting up ESP8266 is our first priority. Now it's time to load our code. I'm using a random SSID and password and you should change it as per your Wi-Fi username and password or SSID and password. Then you need to install the Arduino JSON. Everything is documented, which I've already done. So let's open up our code and let's understand a little bit. So this is our ESP8266 or the microcontroller code. It's using the Wi-Fi module, the web server module, the little fs to read write data and Arduino JSON. We are using two pins to control two LEDs. Then it is your Wi-Fi SSID and password. And if you check my previous video, you will already know what this is all about. There is no much change. The only change is in the API structure, but that's all fine. We can simply copy this code after changing our SSID and password. I'll open up Arduino IDE and I'll simply copy paste my line of codes. As simple as that. Now we can simply upload our code to our microcontroller board. Just click on this arrow button at the top. Now it is writing the data or the code actually being written on the memory. It is almost done. And here we go. Now it is resetting the board. We are done from the ESP8266 setup. And this is your serial console. And if I hit the reset button, it will try to join my network, whichever SSID and password I have given. And this is my IP address. You can note it down from here or you can get it from the router also. So this is needed for us. I'll copy that paste in a notepad. Now let's set up our AI part. So this is our AI agents. It has app.py, which is using the Gradio UI, the NumPy, JSON OS, so this VOSC module will basically translate your voice into text and we have a local AI agent created using Langchain, LangGraph and Olama. Let's go into that. It is using Langchain Olama and here are some environment variables. I'll explain that while setting it up. And it is also documented in our documentation in the GitHub. What are the environment variables we need to set? And it has two tools behind the scene this particular tool get LED status will get the status from the controller board 
using an API call and we have change LED status. This particular function will make sure that LED is on and off using the API server. And here is the prompt. We are guiding our AI model how it should behave. Then we are defining our agent. We are using the model from this one, chat olama. And here is our model name which we are getting from our environment variable. And if we do not pass it, it will take llama 3.2 by default. Same goes for olama base. If we do not specify it, it will take localhost 11434, which is the default olama port. And this is our ESP8266 IP address. And we can pass it using this home API base environment variable, which we'll do. And agent is defined over here. Now we are defining a function chat with language agent. This particular function takes the message in string format or text format. And if we get a voice message from our Gradio, we are processing that using this function called process audio input. And behind the scene, it is using the VOSC module to translate that into text. Then it is passing that particular translated text to our AI model to do the stuffs. And if our input is simply text processing, then we are taking the message or the text itself. We are passing that to our chat with Langchain agent. Then once it does the job, it will send the history back to us. And that is what we are sending back to Gradio. And here is our Gradio definition. There is a text box. There is one audio. And if we submit anything on the text or click on the submit button, it takes the text and it calls the process text input. And if it is audio, we are calling this function called process audio input. And finally, we are launching our demo. So let's start by installing everything. Let me open up my terminal window and let me change my directory to AI agents. And let's check we have all the Python files over here and the requirements.txt is also there. What I'll simply do, I'll use uv, v and v. And you can use traditional Python virtual environment. That is also absolutely fine. Let me activate that source.vnv bin activate. What I'll do, I'll use uv pip install requirements.txt hit enter it is going to take a little bit of time depending on the internet speed it is downloading all the modules and it is quickly done now as per our documentation we need to set at least one environment variable which is the home api base or the esp8266 ip address let me copy that into a notepad and this was our ip address and let me change my laptops wireless or the wi-fi to the other wi-fi which we are using for our ESP8266. So I have connected to that router, which is DAS Learning, and I should be able to launch. Okay, so this was the UI, which we have seen at the beginning. So far, so good. So let's start our AI application. What I'll simply do, I will use Python and app.py, and that is it. And first time, it may take some time. It will try to download the VOSC model, that is, speech to text in my case it was already downloaded so it is using that particular model and we can get our ui at port 7860 so let's open up that that is my local ip or localhost 7860 it may take little time to load for the first time this was the old traditional ui if i click on on led now it has been turned on and if i need to turn on the second one i can simply click on second one and if i need to turn off anyone i can click on this one mm, that is cool that was the old method now let's come to our ai so let's type in what is the status of leds something like that hit enter it may take few seconds and here we go the led one is on and two is off so basically this is led one and this is led two maybe this time let's use our voice please turn on the light number two. So once I click on stop on the audio, it is going to process my audio. And here we go. And sometimes this status may be wrong due to some AI interpretation. You can always ask what is the status? Can you double check the status? Now this time it is fine. 
the LED one is off, LED two is on. Let's use our voice. Please turn off light number two. Click on stop. And both are off now. That's good. And it also has context awareness. So let's try with that. My mistake. Please turn it on. And here we go. We have the context awareness. It has turned on the light number two, which we have interacted just in between. Please turn off light number one. Perfect. This is how we can leverage the power of AI to do our jobs. Thanks for watching this video. See you in some next episodes.